Hey y'all, so in a follow up to our last video, we're gonna come in here and add in the XR hands package, get some hand tracking going with our MetaQuest 3 and get a quick tutorial pumped out about how to do that quickly. So we're gonna go into Window, Package Manager, inside of the Unity Registry, we're gonna search for XR hands. So just to show us doing that live here, I'm um, going into the version history, I'm grabbing the install for the most recent release. So it's 1.4.1 for me. And once that is installed, we're then going to go straight into the sample scene that's going to come with it. Uh, this used to be a pretty intensive thing to get hands working in the scene, but with our new demo scene, I think it's uh, much more simple. So uh, that appears to have been completed. So if I go into the project, I now have XR hands. And let me come in here and grab, where do we want to get this from? I believe it's actually back under the XR interaction toolkit that we already have. And I can grab the XR hands right here. So I'm grabbing the, the hands interaction demo underneath the XR interaction toolkit. Uh, it does mention, I believe, two dependencies in here. Uh, one being shader graph. So Okay, so let's just hit fix on the very first thing that pops up in project validation. And then this is going to fix for me again, uh, the ease of use of this is something that I cannot overstate it is spectacular to not have to hunt down what I'm missing. And then we have shader graph and let me just see so that's something that's already in the project. I don't need to worry about it. Fantastic. All right, and now we're gonna go down in XR Interaction Toolkit into our version, open up the Hands Interaction Demo, and we're gonna pop open the Hands Demo here. The other thing that we need to do here is go into Edit, Project Settings, come into our XR Plugin Management and into Open XR. And we want to turn on anything that we see that is hands related. I'm just going to turn on hand interaction poses, hand tracking subsystems, and meta hand tracking aim. We should be good to go. Uh, just to keep everything uh, nice and clean as we always do, I'm going to close out of the editor and relaunch it, and we'll be back in just a second. Let's check it out in headset. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start recording. And then I'm going to launch Quest Link here and let's go ahead and turn on the AirPlay so that I can see my system. We're gonna hit pair. And in just a moment, we're going to be taken into the Quest Link menu. As a quick reminder, once you're in this menu, any type of hand controls that you have are not going to work properly. The Quest Link menu, at least for right now, as far as I know, is going to necessitate using controllers. So even though we're doing all of this to test hands, we're going to pick the controller back up. And I've now confirmed my pairing code, so hopefully we can just launch from here. There we go. So as we load into this, uh, we can very quickly then go into the desktop menu. And once we get in there, we're going to launch our desktop one mirror and start to see what we're doing inside of Unity. And when we pop up on the other side here, our hands are working. Fantastic. So that's exactly what we want to see right out of the gate. Looking over at the left here, you have some UI components and keep in mind with all of these things as you get closer with your hands automatically swapping between pokes and ray casts and whatnot in an intelligent way. Um, so there we're going through the slider, the buttons, the toggles, drop down, etc. Uh, here we can play with some chess pieces and otherwise. And now let's go in and test this poke button. So we can hear some of the sound happening right here. And next we're going to go over to the scroll view and try to scroll this window. So that all looks like it is tracking properly. Fantastic. And keep in mind, we can reach out and do that poke function.
And as we hit the numpad underneath, it's going to go between our different options within the scroll view. So all of these things are easy to get in here and test, just validate that your controls are working and get some samples on how you would want this stuff to work. So here we're going to pinch to pick up and keep in mind that this is going to localize the pivot rotation to wherever you've pinched. So that's a specific type of interaction, um, but this is a pretty neat demo here to show how it works. And notice as I'm spinning this with two hands that it is staying with both of those pinch axes and I'm able to scale the object up and down, pick up some of these cubes, see how they interact with gravity and with the table in front of you, and that's cool. And lastly, we have the snap socket, which I believe is a newer function of the XR toolkit as well. Uh, and with this, essentially the way that it works is as you hold it with your hands, you reach out and as it overlaps this box that's living in space, it's going to automatically orient and snap the piece in and it will leave that piece there if you let go. It will stay with your hands if you pull it back. So I think that's a good look at what we accomplished here today. Let's go ahead and hop back out of the headset and wrap up. So that was short and sweet. Hopefully you all learned something in this video. Uh, this was how to get the XR hands package installed, how to get the XR hands interaction demo working and how to get up and going quickly. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.